As we move along, we now want to try and create a control rig. So we need to lock our actual rig. We'll go into our menu here. We now have a new menu or drop down in which we'll create a control rig. Now, for those of you who have created a number of control rigs, this can be very time consuming. With a push of a button using utilizing Maya's human IK, here it all is in a jiffy. Take for instance we want to utilize keeping this hand here, like for instance on the table, and move the rest of the body. The cool thing about this, particularly this GUI here, is that we can pin, similar to a constraint, move another part of the body utilizing this GUI, which is really cool. And similar to other programs which utilize this particular GUI uh, in their in their menus. And if you notice, the hand stays in one position. This is really quick and very easy to utilize, and uh, can be very useful to the to the animator. The next thing we want to do is understand what all these little buttons do. Uh, some of them turn off the control rigs, turn off the bones, and uh, now actually we can actually see the bones, which is where we're going to be going next. We're going to turn off the control rig for now. We can come back into it in a minute. But basically, we want to understand the characterization, which kind of gives you a general idea that these all relate to the bones and correlation to each other. The green is good. That means that the bone is in the right spot. However, the yellow means yield. You know, there's a there's a reason why it's not being valid, and that gives you an understanding of status down here, basically stating that this particular model was not in the correct T pose, in which I was wanting you to see what happens when it isn't, and you might want to keep your character in a complete T pose, similar to this right here, so that these are all green whenever you initially do it so you don't have to right click and change them well we can still run with this a lot of times uh, or not a lot of times but sometimes you'll see these as red and that means you can't continue to move on you have to change it somehow and fix the issue that is going on but for now we'll run with it the yellow seems to be okay it's not bad we can of course click into these and you notice how it corresponds to the areas that have been selected we move into skinning and we basically want to select our rig go into select hierarchy by right mouse button clicking we'll go into skin we can either choose a rigid bind or a smooth bind particularly smooth bind because it gives a better look when you're moving elbows and bending knees things like that so rigid the smooth bind is a better one to go with versus the rigid bind which we could use and be a little bit quicker in our process but we want to skin or we want to put weights on our on our uh, binded skin. Now this sets up a menu once we've gone to the options. We want to probably go with whatever you best like. Uh, I stick with the joint hierarchy. We'll go to closest and distance. Typically it'll be the hierarchy first. We'll change cl from classic linear to dual Cortonian. It's the type of skinning method that is used, which is a little bit better. Helps out the animation. And we'll make it interactive as opposed to post because the interactive allows you to change your skin weights on the, skin weights on the fly. These will typically be on. You'll have this usually at 5. We'll bring this down to say 2 so that it doesn't influence too much. It only goes between 2 joints versus 5. Uh, so we're going to turn off the multiple blind poises because we don't have those. We're going to also turn off the maintain max influences. The drop off rate basically goes between 3 and however much. We're going to bring this down to 2 we don't want it to affect too much so it stays in between there and we'll keep colorized skeleton and remove unused influences we'll bind our pose oh first we have to select our mesh if there are more than one then select them all in sequence and we'll bind our mesh now we can actually go to our control rig turn it back on we can actually select them from here and say for instance we want to move our arm out we'll see that the mesh is binded now and we'll, we'll go ahead and apply our skin weights and work through the rest of this part of the process in the next video